In science, errors can seriously impact the accuracy and precision of your results. The three main ones to watch for are systematic errors, zero errors, and random errors. Let's contextualize this. Let's say that you set up an experiment to see how fast different masses of water boil. Maybe you're stood by the kettle waiting for your toast to pop up and need something to do. So you start weighing out glasses of water to pour into the kettle one at a time and boil them. Except halfway through you realize you've been including the mass of the glass every time. You might think you're boiling 200 grams of water in that kettle, but in truth, it's closer to 100. You've made the same size of mistake each time. You've made a systematic error. Every mass of water that you've measured out is going to be different from the true value by the same amount. Well, you might think, if they're all wrong by exactly the same amount, then surely it doesn't matter. It does, unfortunately. If you do it again one day with a different glass, you won't get the same results. If someone else tries your investigation, even with the same type of kettle, it won't produce the same results again either. Bad luck, you need to start again. You try again, but this time you realize when there's nothing on the balance, it's still showing a number, even though there's nothing on it. When you've measured out your water, it's not been the true mass of it. You've got a zero error on your hands. Bad luck, start again. And by now your toast is burned. You solve that problem too, reset the toast with fresh bread and go again. This time though, you realize that counting the boil time, one elephant, two elephant, isn't an accurate way to measure time. Whatever number you come up with, it's not gonna be the true value. Worse than that, it's out by a different amount each time. It's a random error. You can make it smaller, use a timer, repeat your investigation and calculate a mean, but you'll never get rid of it. And by the time you've sorted all that, you'll probably have just had a biscuit instead.